everybody. It's Theresa again. Um, yesterday you uh, seen me make this soap. Um, I called it uh, lemonade or fizzy lemonade. Um, it's not. It doesn't fizz. It's not going to fizz. I just want to make that clear. Um, I called it fizzy just because I thought that the little. I don't know if you can see it. The little beads here, the little sugar pearls, they kind of look like it makes it fizz, kind of like a, a soda pop. So that's why I call it fizzy lemonade soap. Um, the color here on the top is a little more orange today than it was yesterday. And oddly enough, the, the color in the photo of the log that I took was um very orange and I, I specifically remember um yesterday before i put this to bed so to speak um it looks more yellow in person so um but i'm going to try to unmold this today i don't know how well it's gonna go um well judging by that it's not gonna go very well uh -huh. But uh, we'll see. It may not be ready to cut. Um, and if it's not, then of course I'll do what I usually do, which is pause the video and then it'll be just another, I'll wait another day and then cut it uh, with you all. Um, so the embed seemed pretty stuck in. So I'm just going to bring the soap up and tilt it into my hand. And it's not good. It's not coming out. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. All right. It's not warm to the touch. And as you can see, hopefully, I don't know if you can see, but can you see that dent? That's where the mold, for some reason, was folded. It wasn't, or the liner was folded. It wasn't setting in the mold properly. Um, but that, that's a problem with my box. My wooden box. That's a problem with this. The, the case that my husband built me. Uh, not a problem with the liner. However, I am going to comment and let Brambleberry know... And you can't really see it here. Maybe you can. Let's see. Can you see that dent there? Can you see it? That is a problem with the liner. There's actually, on the inside, there is a defect on the inside of this liner. And it causes that dimple. And it's that transfers into my soap. So... That is a problem with the liner. I noticed it when I was watching, uh, rewatching a video of my last loaf soap, and I was like, "Hmm, what's that?" And then this. So I thought, well, maybe there was something in the box that caused it, but there's nothing in the box that would have caused it. So um, it's definitely that. Um, spot in the mode so I am going to let Brambleberry know that I don't expect that they are going to replace it or anything like that because Frank quite frankly most companies when they when you have to uh, they have to replace something they want you to ship the old one back and which is perfectly understandable but it's not something that I'm willing to do because I'm not going to pay five dollars to ship this one back just to have them ship me a new one so I mean I've already paid a fair amount of money to have this one shipped to me so there's no way I'm going to and I, and to be fair I can't say that that's what Brambleberry would do because I have never had to return anything um, that I got from Brambleberry so I haven't contacted them so I don't know what their policy is or what they would ask of me but so I'm not I'm not saying that that's definitely what would happen I'm just saying that's what I would expect and this soap is not ready to unload. Um, it is still gooey 
inside. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go all the way around, I'm gonna attempt to go all the way around and see what I see all the, on the other side. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to even unmold now, which is crazy. And I'll tell you um, one thing that I did I actually, I did not use an oven and I did not use a heating pad, but this soap was heating up in the little plastic bowls that I was mixing it in. As I was mixing it, I could feel the heat coming from the soap. So uh, I went ahead and I put this in a container, in a box, and wrapped it up. Uh, sealed it in that box inside a plastic bag and then wrapped it so that it would hold its heat hold the heat and attempt to help it gel now I've never gelled a soap before so I may have done it wrong but it was really well wrapped so um, if it was going to gel it should have gelled but as far as I can tell, it didn't. Ugh. I'm, try I'm trying to take this mode off and it's not. I should have waited. I just ruined this soap and it's because I was impatient. Yep. I ruined the soap and it was because I was impatient. I knew that I should have waited and I didn't. So now I've ruined the soap. <sighs> I'll see you for the cut. All right, so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I've decided, rant over, I'm gonna give it a go. All right, so here's the soap. Um, I know you can probably hardly see it. Um, let me tilt down. It's incredibly soft, but I am going to uh, give it a go anyway. I'm going to see. I know I'm probably moving it out of your view, but I'm going to see what what I can do with it. It smells fantastic. Alright, I can see that the color, um, you see, you see that dot there? The color, the colorant, um, did that. And I'm trying to fix the light here. It's given a shadow for you all. I don't really know why, but I'm just, uh, I'm just going to cut it. But if you can see here, can you see here? It, uh, there's a spot of the color where the color didn't make sound quite right, but the hesitation there is where it has the unscented soap chunks on the inside. Let me see. It's soft, so it will need cleaning up a little bit. But, um, it's not too bad. And I'll attach a picture so that you can, um, see the final bars. It's actually not too god awful bad in the cutting. Just 
just have to be careful. And you see? It's very pretty. The toe chunks are all on the line. I should have stirred them in a little bit. Um, but you live and you learn. And then you cry. <laughs> uh, I should have stirred them in a little bit, but... Oh well, it's not that awful. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing because I can't really see what you're seeing while I'm seeing it, while I'm doing it. So if you can't, I'm really sorry. Okay, this one has a spot on the side where it's messed up a little bit. And it's because of this soap chunk. So, this is my first time using embeds. So, uh, obviously I need to be careful not to get them on the side of the soap like that. But, overall, it's a beautiful slice of soap. But, I have to be careful. Because, obviously, when they're on the side like that, uh, it messes it up. I guess I'm lucky in that I've not, I've not, I'm not one of those soapers who made a batch of soap that turned out and then ran to market my soaps because I saw obviously have a lot to learn um, about soap. I honestly didn't think this soap would cut at all, uh, but because it, it felt so soft and it is so soft on the outside but it's not too bad on the inside now this bar needs to be trimmed up just a bit and I'm hoping I can do that well I failed <laughs> I was gonna say I'm hoping I can do that without too much of an issue but Obviously, that was not meant to be. So, I'm just trying to square it up a little bit where it was messed up in the mold. And you can see here, here's a perfect example. Can you see? Look how soft that soap is. See? Very soft soap. And I really don't, I don't know why. Um, like I said, I used water discount. I used sodium lactate. I, I just, I don't know what cause, what is causing the soap to be so, um, to be so soft. I have no idea. Okay, so now that I've unmolded the soap and cut the soap, I want it to start a little trend uh, I'm going to try to keep it up, um, but I want to tell you all one thing uh, in each video that I think I might ha do differently in my next batch. Um, and for this batch, the number one thing that stands out to me is use of ingredients. Um, in this batch, this is a lemonade soap and this creamy color that you see here is supposed to be yellow. Now, I... Um, I don't have a lot of ingredients. I still, I'm still new, and so I, I tend to just use just enough of things um, to get me through the batch because I don't want to run out before I can get more in. But in doing that, you can see this is not yellow. It was yellow on the pot, but it's not yellow. So I'm going to just go for it and not skimp uh, on my ingredients. In essence, I'm going to stop sacrificing this loaf for the next one. So, um, that's one thing that, uh, I'm going to do. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. Happy soaping. Bye-bye.